While it's December and most people are whipping up lots of dessert recipes, today I thought I'd show you how to make this delicious roasted red pepper and tomato soup. It's healthy, nourishing, and even a little festive with its vibrant red and green colors. Today I've partnered with Vitamix to bring you this soup recipe and to remind you that there's so much more that you can do with your blender in addition to making smoothies. So let's dive in. We'll start by cutting four red bell peppers in half and removing the seeds. And I find it's easiest to just use two fingers to grab the seeds and stem and twist backwards. Then add the bell peppers cut side down to a baking tray and set them aside. Next, we'll slice up three tomatoes and add them to the baking tray as well, along with one small onion and four to five cloves of garlic. When it comes to the garlic, you don't have to peel the cloves, but do slice off the bottom end, which will make it easier to just squish them out after they've cooked. Drizzle the garlic cloves in a little olive oil and wrap them in aluminum foil so that they don't burn. For all of our veggies on the baking tray, we'll now drizzle those in a little olive oil and season with salt and pepper. And use your fingers to make sure both sides are coated well. Then make a little spot for the garlic and broil everything for 25 to 30 minutes or until the tops are charred black. All right, so now you'll remove the bell peppers to a bowl and cover with plastic wrap for about 20 minutes, which will steam the peppers and help to remove their skin. When the other veggies are cool enough to handle, you can remove their skin and add to your Vitamix. And yes, you can keep the onion as it is in its large halves. The garlic will also now easily squeeze out of its peel, and once the peppers have steamed, you can remove their skin and add to the Vitamix as well. To that, we'll add six ounces of tomato paste, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, one teaspoon of dried basil, and one and a half cups of water or stock. Then blend it all up until it's nice and smooth. I top my roasted red pepper and tomato soup with a little olive oil, a sprinkle of pepper and hemp seeds, and some fresh basil. I hope you guys liked today's video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss next week's video.